It's no secret that I love working with surface mount components and I produce some pretty small things. There's a QFNs on here, there's 0402, there are some SOT883 packages on here. Definitely too small to hand solder. So my preference is always to get a stencil for my boards and I love working with stencils. But stencils have a few issues. Firstly, having to mount a stencil all the time onto some board with tape, it's a bit painful. I've at least now moved to a 3D printed base instead of using PCBs around it. I'll use PCBs around it to hold the PCB in place if it's just a one-off or a two-off, but if I'm regularly using it, I've come up with this technique where I can 3D print something where the board fits perfectly inside and doesn't wobble, and I can use my tweezers to pull it out again, which is great. That's been working okay. And then of course, the whole issue of getting the stencil aligned is a bit of a pain, and getting it to stay there is even worse. So even with the tape here, and some tape here, holding that in place, I can still shift it. Which means as I'm holding it, trying to hold it still and rigid, and put my paste on and pull down, it's possible for me to push it out. And with something like QFN, you're in big trouble when you do that. So I want to come up with something that's a bit more rigid and stable than doing this whole tape process every time. You know, this has done me fine, but if I want to start producing many of these tiny picos, I need something that's very reliable where every single time I paste a board it's going to be perfect. The other thing I need to solve is that if you can see here the stencil moves and is bowed, it lifts up. So I need a way of holding the stencil down. Right now I use my fingers to hold it still, right? but the pressure of doing that sometimes shifts it. See that? I have to be very careful when I do it and probably one time out of three I end up shifting it and I get a bad paste application. So. It's time to design something a little bit better than this. How are we going to do it? You all love it when I go to the paper, don't you? So I was thinking that, okay, I like my idea of having the holder on the bottom. So I need something to put my board inside. And I like the little lip I had at the bottom, but sometimes it's not convenient to lift from that point. So with my tiny Picos, there's actually solder around that area for the USB. I want to lift it from the side. So I want some way of holding it from the side as well, like being able to open it and pick out from the side. I also want it to sit on something, but not necessarily sit flat on a board. I don't want to add a third layer, like a, this layer, a top layer, and a bottom layer. So I want some way of elevating it up on here. So I'll probably make this thicker than normal and have something that maybe in the corners or something a way of lifting the board up so it sits flush. The other thing I want to do is put something that holds the stencil down. So if the stencil is sitting here, I want something that is hinged at this point here, like that, that can fold down and hold the stencil. And when this is down, I want it to have a frame that holds the stencil in place, if that makes sense. So this will be an opening that I can paste from, but this will be covered holding the stencil down on the corners. I don't quite know if that makes a lot of sense. This is just an idea in my head. So what I'm going to do is jump into Fusion 360 and I'm going to kind of just free flow design this off the top of my head. I'm pretty sure I won't get the design right the first time, but I'm just going to have a bit of a play in fast forward to music because you don't want to listen to me waffle in Fusion 360 and see what I can come up with and then print it and see if it works. Let's go.
and we now have a base and a frame. I had to do some modifications to both of these as I was printing them and realized I had a few issues. I stick a little handle on the frame and I realized I didn't cut out this section here to be able to fit inside that. But yeah, I added a back support for this. So the idea is this fits in here nice and tight-ish. I need to put something in here for the hinge and it'll go like this and hopefully that'll sit like that. Hopefully. Yeah. You saw at the very end of the video I stuck these side bits on and that's what I've done to hold the PCB. So the, here's a PCB, it just sits there nice and snug and of course I can take it off from the sides as well as from the front if I need to. So this is clearly customized for the Tiny Pico, the base, but the idea is I can print a new base for any of my projects and use a similar type of frame. And then I can obviously make this bigger if I need to for larger projects, if it makes sense. I also added these holders down the bottom here to lock the frame in place when it's on. So let's stick a stencil on this. I also have to find something to hinge it with. I might do that first. So I found this in my garage. It's like a fiberglass rod. It's flexible. It was part of a, an outdoor tent. And so I need to cut a piece off that'll kind of match that length. Something about there I need to cut. So let's do it with my hand. Cut to length. So, let's get that in. Perfect. I now have a working hinge. And as you can see, it fits nicely against there, so I don't have to worry about holding it up. A little bit tight there maybe, but tolerance-wise, that is pretty cool. Okay, it's time to put the stencil on. This is a, a stencil from an old Tiny Pico, a couple of revisions ago. I'm going to put this into here. Now, I can already see that I made a mistake with my placement of this inside the base. Because of the hinge area, I centered this vertically to the base when I should have done it inside this space. Because I wanted the stencil, let's look that up. I wanted the, is that the right around? Doesn't really matter. I wanted the stencil to sit where I can tape it here and here and at the bottom there. See that is in the middle, but that's not where it is on the underneath. So I've lost the ability, I believe, to tape it here. It looks like silly me. I'd always reprint the base and move this down, but I'm not gonna do that right now. Okay, let's grab a board. Here's the board. Put it in, great. Get the stencil in. We're going to align the stencil. Might just zoom in a bit so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to have to tape it down and get some tape ready. So as I mentioned, the idea is to tape it down on the side here and here. That's why they're lowered. I didn't particularly want to wrap the tape underneath the stencil. I didn't want to have any width under the stencil to offset it, even the tape, which is thin as this is, to offset it from the board. But this might be thin enough to do it anyway, and I might have to now because I don't have the ability to clamp it horizontally, just vertically. Anyway, let's get this aligned as best I can, considering that there is a camera in my way. It doesn't have to be perfect for now, just as a, a rough placement to see how it works. So the idea is you get tape here. Well, a bit too wide, that bit of tape. Oh well, stick that down. Another bit of tape. This one looks like it might be too long. So you stick them down and that holds the stencil in place. Like that. Ooh, okay. So there seems to be a pressure thing. I'm not sure if you can see that. Stencil bouncing up and down. I wonder if... This is bowed. I wonder if 3D prints bowed. 
Oh, look at that. Look at the bow. Look at that bow there. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have to um, find a way of straightening that. That's a bit of a pain. The whole point was to use the frame to hold it down. Yeah, okay. Well, that's fixable. That's okay. But I wonder if it's going to shift still. I bet you it will. Yeah. It's a little bit of wobble here because you can see on the tape because there's nothing horizontally to hold the stencil like I was hoping there would be. Okay, so what's if I... didn't really want to do this, but what's if I use some offcuts and tape here? It's really not what I wanted to do. As thin as this tape is, it's going to lift the stencil off that much, off the board. Okay, well, anyway, we'll try that out. Okay, does it shift? No, look at that. That's pretty good. Okay, yes. So there it is. Awesome. So I should now be able to grab my squeegee and go without shifting. Wow, that's cool. And then I can obviously open it, take the board out, and I can clean it easily by putting some paper towel down, closing it, and just cleaning with some IPA tissue to clean it. That is very cool. I'm very happy with this. That is a win. We did it, folks. We did it. Okay, folks, that's it. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. To all my patrons, you are just absolutely amazing. Everyone, don't forget to catch the MakerCast this Sunday. Well, my Monday morning, 7 a.m. GMT plus 11. Sunday evening for pretty much everyone else around the world. It's going to be pretty cool. There's a whole bunch of us getting together. It's episode two. It's on my channel. Don't forget to join. I will catch you all on my next adventure. Bye.